It's a normal Tuesday morning for A&E consultant Kelvin Lightbody. And then I've got Mr Dahl, who I'm just going to take around his fellow CTP. Right. Is he well? Yes. Ish. We've spent the day at the University Hospital Hare Myers in Glasgow, and he is showing us around. At peak times, there would be patients lined up in the corridor. There would be uh, a line of paramedics waiting to hand over. At the minute, this isn't the peak time. Does that happen often? <laughs> yes, every week. Most days. He tells me it's not overcrowded now, but some patients have been waiting in the department for over 12 hours. So we're just going to see a young lady called Megan. She's been here for about 13 hours now. Uh, she came in uh, during the night last night and she had a little bit of pain in her abdomen. How's the pain? It's OK. It's OK? Managing? What, why are you waiting? You've been here for 13 hours, haven't you? Yeah, I'm waiting for a bed. And where are you waiting for a bed? In the surgical ward. She's waiting because there aren't any beds available in the surgical ward. Yeah, we've been here since about 10 o'clock, 10 past 10 last night. Um, and just, yeah, just tired now. And she's had the painkillers that she needs. She's had the antibiotic treatment that she needs. Yeah. But obviously it's not ideal for her or, or for, for anyone with her. Uh, she's been there for a very long time. Uh, it's certainly not as comfortable being in an any area as it would be in a ward. There are two other patients here who've been waiting here longer than 12 hours, but they're too ill to speak to us. The doctors here say they are ready to be moved to free up space in a cubicle, but it's the same story. The hospital simply doesn't have space for them elsewhere. In the opposite bay, I meet Emma. She's also waiting, not for a bed, but for an ambulance to transfer her. You came in at 4.30 this morning. Did you really think you'd still be here at, what, nearly 11.30 this morning? Um, to be honest, yeah, I did. I just know that the pressures on the NHS at the moment are, there's just so much pressure and I'm well aware that the staff, you know, just, they, they can't cope. I asked Dr Lightbody whether such service was just accepted now. We shouldn't accept this as normal. This is, is not ideal performance. We're letting these patients down. Uh, some of these patients who are waiting for a significant length of time will come to harm. His boss, also knows it's not working. She wants the whole system to fundamentally change. For older people, there are a range of things we should be doing. We should not be bringing people into hospital unless we really, really need to. Caring for them at home. Caring for them at home. People in nursing homes, we should not be bringing these people into hospital unless we really need to. Until anything changes, Dr Lightbody says he will continue to care for his patients in the best way possible, no matter how long it takes.